YouTube, what's going on guys? Before we start the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, put on those post notifications because we are choosing two lucky winners to win 50 buckaroonies. All right guys, we're filming something completely different and I'm gonna let Hunter tell you guys what it is. We are doing a brand new show called Crowd Pleasers. And the reason why we're doing this show right now because we're gonna do a live version of this at a theater. Uh, we're gonna do it at the venue you see on the screen and on the date you see on the screen. And if you want more information, go to the description below. There's a link to buy tickets. The first five people that buy tickets, they're gonna get something really special. We don't wanna give it away yet. Trust me, you're gonna wanna be one of the first five people. So go do that right now, but for now, enjoy the premiere of Crowd Pleasers. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new show. I'm Hunter March. Hey, Crawford Collins, how we doing? Hello. So Crawford, on the other side of this curtain right now are seven girls, hopefully one of which will be your true love. But unlike David's other videos where our dater eliminates someone each time, we have something very special today. We have a live studio audience. Woo! The reason they're here and the reason David's over there is because sometimes when it comes to love, we're not good at picking our own matches. Crawford, for example, is single right now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, appreciate it. <laughs> Way to really set me up there, yeah. And you're like freshly single, right? Uh, about six months, so. Oh, about six still, months. Still pretty fresh. I'm ready to get back on the market. Okay, That's good. Why That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Ready to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Crawford, tell us a little bit about what you're looking for in a relationship. I like a girl who knows what she wants, you know, who's motivated, who's driven. Um, I like a girl who's got a sense of humor. She's got to be able to laugh, crack some jokes. Yeah, just someone who's got a nice smile as well. How would you rank yourself in terms of like picking partners for yourself? Do you feel like you mostly pick the right ones or do you look back at maybe your roster and go, ooh, I kind of, I'm not great? I mean, obviously, I look back and say they, they were all great for the time, but it just wasn't meant to be. You so know? you're looking for the one today? Looking for, you know, I'm, I'm open to it. If we find the one, that would be a... Uh... Dude, that'd be awesome. I'll hold that against him forever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, he would never, he would never let me yeah. live it down. Well, this is the one video where David and the rest of the audience might actually be in charge of picking the one for you. And you guys watching at home right now, if you wanted to be in the audience, we're actually gonna do this as a live show in a theater. And the venue is this place, and the date is this place. And if you want tickets, go to the info section right now, buy your tickets, they will sell out super fast, and you can actually decide someone's fate. Crawford's probably gonna be there just hanging out in love with one of these lucky ladies over here. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready to go, as ready as I'll ever be. Crawford's so nervous. I, I am nervous, I'm not gonna lie. This is, I'm, I'm new to this type of show. David's been trying to get me on a dating show for, for months. So for months, dude. The second yes. they broke up, I was like, bro. Yeah. Going a, rough time. A, a day later, he didn't even wait a day. He's like, hey, you ready to get on a dating show? Yeah. Hey, you played hard to get. I was day one. I was like, yeah, I guess I'll be in it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and meet your lucky ladies. And we're going to start with contestant number one. We're going to hear from all of them. What is your fun fact? Hey, I'm contestant number one, and I'm really tight. But you'll have to find that out later. So, so I, she's wild already. She's man. unhinged. She meant cool. Cool. Oh, she's really tight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tight. Tight. Okay, okay. Sure. But again, you're hearing these things, but your opinion does not matter. Opinion, I, I'm just here so, to, to hang out. Yeah, let's yeah. find out. Contestant number two. Hi, I'm contestant number two. And a fun fact about me is I actually have a stripper pole in my living room built in there everything so I pretty much use that to work out and everything so I'm good at sexual dancing and stripping my clothes off pretty quickly so wow. <laughs> you'll be spinning are there any poles in the studio <laughs> I want to see it I want to see it I really hope my mom doesn't watch this video well Crawford hey. Maybe okay, you'll find okay. out about that. We'll contestant see. number three, go ahead. Hi, I'm contestant number three, and one fun fact about me is that I'm very flexible, and I can put both my legs behind my neck. Is anybody's <laughs> fun fact that they're a fucking yeah. Libra or something? <laughs> I want to see that too. <laughs> uh, we have tight, stripper pole, and flexible. Are we off to a good start. There is no lack of fun facts right now. Uh, next up. I'm contestant number four, and I have no gag reflex. 
Jesus Christ. Number four is definitely staying. Hey, yo. Number four is definitely staying. I have one. Hey, yo. Okay. If that makes you like me more, I have one. I feel like guys like we do, dog. It's not fun when you don't. Oh, God. Contestant number five, what is your fun fact? Um, I can fit my whole fist in my mouth. Bro, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Does, does anybody like baking? Prove it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it. Everyone quiet. Be mature about this. Can we see? <laughs> I would have to go wash my hands first. Hey, sanitary. I respect that. It's okay. Okay. Go ahead. Wait, is she doing it? Wait, wait, is she really doing it? She really did it. Respect, okay. I never see something like that. We're gonna that have before. to vote number five off. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hang out with her. Bring her over to the couch. <laughs> Uh, contestant number six, go ahead. I'm contestant number six, um, and my typical type is fat, hairy dudes. We might be out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not a hairy, fat dude, I don't know. All right, well, I, I guess we're gonna have to kick her off. <laughs> Why are you judging me? It's just that you and I were in a different dating video, and we ended up together, and I'm not a you're fat, hairy, hairy guy. Right? I got her hairy face and fat balls, but that's about it. <laughs> Final contestant, what is your fun fact? Hey, I'm contestant seven. Um, funny enough, actually, the perk of going last is that someone actually already said the hand in the mouth thing. Um, I was gonna say that. On the flip side, my fun fact is I cosplay. So okay. in case you don't like the way I look, I can look however you want me to look. Oh. Oh. Spicy. Oh. Fulfill the fantasy. <laughs> is, is, is the hand in the mouth thing like a very common, a common scale or? Just so you ladies know the hand of the mouth thing, not gonna be necessary for this bachelor, as long as you guys can. If you can do a finger, you're yeah. probably good. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I think I'm gonna go. He meant the thumb. <laughs> oh yeah, the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, yeah. We've heard from all the contestants now. Here's where our show differs. It doesn't matter what you think, but I think the audience wants to find you love, so they know what you want. So now, audience, we're gonna go ahead and eliminate one contestant. Wait, give us a second to kind of discuss. All right, what are we gonna do, guys? <laughs> Number six, that he's not her type. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she said, she said. Oh, okay, okay, she's right, she's right, she's right. Number five, fake fisted. She didn't get past the knuckles. Oh my god, she's over here. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, oh shit! Whoa. Hold on, I'm sorry, we had some fist know. thing going on. It is time to eliminate our first contestant, and we're gonna go down the line. Clap if you like them. Whoever has the least amount of noise is gonna go home. So we're gonna start with contestant number one. Yeah! Yo, she's tight. She's tight. Yeah, she's tight. She's super cool. Contestant number two. Yeah! All right. There's still some noise. Contestant number three. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Contestant number four. All right. Woo. Contestant number five. Fist in the mouth. Yeah! Uh oh. Oh no. Contestant number six. And contestant number seven. So the contestant eliminated is contestant number five. Oh, no. Hey. We loved you. You're gorgeous. I'm Victoria. Hello. Crawford, very nice to meet you. I'm sorry about my friends. That's okay. Give I'm sure another you're nice great. Smile. I'm sure you're amazing. So do you. All right, guys. Well, you know, we just want to say you're part of us now. No hard feelings. Was it your type? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Anybody on the couch your type? <laughs> 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 Okay, that's one contestant eliminated. Six more to go. How do you feel they did with the first elimination compared to like maybe what you would have done? I mean, that was a tough one because everyone's answers were pretty crazy. So I don't feel like I had enough information. Well, you'll definitely yeah. get some information yeah, with yeah, this here next we go. <laughs> Okay. Good to hear, good to hear. Everyone has to uh, have sex with Crawford oh, okay. one by yeah. one. <laughs> um, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Hey, y'all, I didn't sign up for this. At sign. this point, it might be better. <laughs> <laughs> no, the real second question for the second round, just to kind of change it up, because I feel like 
That first round was a little, a little much. <laughs> Let's go back in time. Let's learn a little bit about each of our contestants. I like that. If you had to describe your first kiss, the first kiss you ever had as a game, because Crawford here is a gamer, he's a streamer, how would you describe it? Contestant number two, we'll start with you. Okay, I feel like my first kiss would be like the Ouija board, you know, like the little Ouija board, because I am haunted by that shit. It was, <laughs> it was terrible. It was like that weird side, like Christian kiss. Wait, weird that side one. Christian kiss? I don't yeah, know. What like a, the, I don't know what a like weird side, side Christian kiss is. Is it your priest? Like, no. Oh my God! <laughs> but it was at church. Wait, it actually was at church. It was so bad. You felt like you needed to go to church after. Is what exactly. You're it was at okay. church. Actually, cleanse your sins. It is it? Has it gotten better, contestant number two? Like absolutely. It, yes, absolutely. It's just the first one. You know, it's kind of awkward. You're like 15, 14 years old. You know. How old were you when you had your first kiss? I was 15. Oh, loser. <laughs> who who hired this guy? <laughs> contestant number three. How would you describe your first kiss? I would choose hide and seek because I just wanted to disappear after that. Um, it was not a good experience because he ate a tuna sandwich before and I'm allergic to seafood. So um, oh. I just had my face swollen up and he blocked me on Facebook. So um, I just block. want to hide. <laughs> oh and contestant number three, do you have an accent or is that still like an allergic reaction to something? <laughs> it, oh it's still God. the seafood, no. I was born in Budapest and I have a Hungarian accent. I speak three languages, so. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Bragger. Uh, she really made up for being blocked by some random 15-year-old. <laughs> it, all, it all stemmed from that. That was, yeah. that was the revenge. Uh, How old were you when you had that first kiss? I was 12. That is young as fuck. <laughs> oh, cool. Much cooler than the other girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, Mike's gonna be so bad. <laughs> Craw uh, I was just told that Crawford does love seafood, though. I do love seafood, so. Aww. She's gotta go. Contestant number four. I would say Jumanji because it was my cousin and I was exploring. But I swear, Whoa. but. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? I have two Her problems. I have two problems with Her that. Her vote is hurt. Right, hold on. <laughs> this isn't Jerry Springer. Everyone, yeah, shut what? up. What? Quiet, quiet. Hold on. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Uh, all right. Yeah. What level cousin yeah, was what this? Level of yeah, I was second cousin. And it was a really fast peck, and it was just for like we were playing house. When you say second cousin, how was this person related? Like, tell me the fa how the family tree goes. Um, it was like by marriage. So like Wait, it wasn't oh, technically my actual cousin. Count. He's saving her. But it made it funnier <laughs> by saying it was my cousin. Okay, so it's not blood. Not it's blood. not blood. Not blood. It's just a little weird. Just a little weird. Also, number two, I watched Jumanji as a kid and I hated that movie. Oh. Love is love, guys. It's Pride Month. Uh, whoa, whoa! I don't, hold yeah. up. Love is love, not with your cousin. Not with your cousin. Love is love. It's Pride Month. There's gotta be a line somewhere. All right. That is a great answer, contestant oh, number four. All right, contestant number six. All right, well, according to Hunter, I'm gonna be a big loser, but I'm gonna say blackjack because I didn't have my first kiss until I hit 21. Hey, hey, that's a good blackjack. answer. Hey, I, I respect it, and, and I do love blackjack. I love <laughs> I don't know if that applies. But nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, it does. I actually am a gambleholic. I have a problem. Yeah. So I actually have an alcohol. No, 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 gambling addiction. No, kidding. Um, why, why, uh, why'd you wait till you're 21? I was petrified <laughs> of everyone. I was okay, super okay. Shy. And how was that uh, kiss when you were 21? Um, I didn't really remember it because I was 21. Because that's when you can start drinking. Sure, yeah. Oh, okay, that, okay, gotcha. You were just really scared, that's why you didn't kiss anyone? Yeah, I mean, also I was like an ugly duckling. I was not cute, like. She's cute now! <laughs> She's cute now, okay. She's fired. Contestant number seven, describe your first kiss as a game. I would have to describe my first kiss as Pac-Man because I'm pretty sure that he was trying to eat my face uh, more than kiss me. Okay. Uh, so mission accomplished for him, but um, I'm pretty sure that I lost that game. Crawford <laughs> loves Pac-Man because uh, he's pretty packed. Who invited this guy? Yeah, well, let's move on. How big is your penis? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, you're asking them the questions, not me. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Ladies, how big is your penis? <laughs> Finally. Finally. Contestant number one. Board game, probably Candyland, because my first kiss was in middle school at a slumber party. Well, we all had, like, we were young, so I'm sure we had a bunch of candy and cupcakes, so Candyland okay, okay. is the best way to describe Wait, did you get lured lured by candy to okay, the slumber David. party? Oh. Okay, David. David. All right, David. You now have to make a decision, talk quietly amongst yourselves, and pick one person to be eliminated. What are you thinking? Uh, four. 
for, yes. Because of the cousin thing? The cousin thing, yeah. The, the sushi thing is pretty important for Crawford. He loves going on sushi dates, but he also respects family, and you don't kiss your cousin. He has a family channel. He has a family channel. Okay, audience, have you come to a decision? Yes. Which contestant are you going to eliminate? Four! Four would be... My cousin. My cousin. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, hi, nice to meet oh, you. Oh nice to meet you. I'm sure you're great. I'm sorry I worried you with my cousin. The cousin thing. I get it, I get it. Have you kissed your cousin since then? Like, did no, you ever kiss him no, again? No, 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 it was a very like, just, we were just like, a moment. Hey, the cousin's a lucky dude. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> Yo, David. Wait, just, just so you know, Jumanji is a great movie. It is the best movie. That's like one of my favorites. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, did you think Crawford was cute? I like his voice a lot. I think his voice is pretty sexy. Did you think your cousin was cute? <laughs> okay. Crawford here is a man of music. He always has the aux cord. You're a DJ, right? Um, yes. So I think we should make this next question music related. It's important. If you had to describe your sex life as a song, what song would it be and why? We'll start with contestant number three. I would go with um, Hit Me Baby One More Time because I have father issues. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought for a different reason, but <laughs> that, that went a different way. No, it I... is the same reason, by the way. Okay. okay. Yeah, that is the same thing. At least I'm honest, hey. It's crazy God. meeting the female Zach Justice. Oh God. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I hope she's okay. <laughs> I feel bad, man. Uh, contestant number six, same question. Um, if I would have to choose a song title to describe my sex life, I would say Yo Perreo Sola by Bad Bunny. Ooh. Because half the time, men don't know what the f they're doing, so I gotta do that shit myself. Damn. Whoa. Oh, damn. Maybe That's Crawford's weird. different, we'll hey, see. Hey, yeah, come on. Uh, Crawford does like Latinas. <laughs> he likes big hey, Latinas. Hey, my man, my boy's got me over there. Hey, there we go. I like how you said that men don't know what they're doing, but as you said that, I think me and Crawford both didn't know what that song title translates to. <laughs> no <so> idea. <laughs> what, what does the song title translate to? Basically means um, I could do it all by myself. Well, if you get eliminated, you'll have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Contestant number seven, uh, what song would you choose? I think that the song that I would choose would be Love on the Brain by Rihanna. Okay. Um, because I feel like as of right now in my life, I really want to find someone that's interested in similar things that I am, and that is really like an actual connection, and I feel like my sex life is so much better when that's involved. Um, oh. So yeah, love yeah. on the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Including yeah. self-love. I like that Self-love too, ladies and gentlemen. Why did you wait till the sex question to yeah. give a PG? The whole yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Nice. I don't know. Nice. It's true. I mean, do you want me to say Pound Town? Like, yeah. I don't know. Is that a song? Yeah, I was gonna say, is that a song? <laughs> It I've never heard that one. Yeah, it is a song, unfortunately. No, I, I agree though. I think I, I agree. Sex is better when you're in love with someone. Uh, contestant number one, what song would you choose and why? I'd probably choose "Porn Star Dancing" by My Darkest Days. Yeah, we're right back to <laughs> yeah, where we were. Right uh, back to the short one. Contestant number two. Um, if I could only pick one song to really just emulate my sex life, I would probably pick um, "It's Been a While." By Shane. It's been a while. Fair it's enough. been a while because it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while because it's just—it's been probably around two years. Oh, oh two and a half. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to—I like special people. Like I don't like to just. That's real. That. Yeah. So I, just, I love that dude. It's got to be a connection. Or something. Yep. Crawford, how long has it been since you had sex? <laughs> Just kidding. Don't answer that. <laughs> the whole video. Uh, today or? Ten today ago, or? Yeah. Crawford, you again will not pick. It is to our audience. But this time, audience, we need to eliminate not one, but two. Oh. So talk quietly amongst yourselves and pick two daters to go home. Audience, have we come to a decision? Yes. yes. Which dater do you want to send home first? What? <laughs> okay, one. It was nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. I love your hair. He's pretty cute. The reason is uh, we'll let uh, Devonte speak. I say number one because I feel like you were you were capping. You know what I'm saying? You're like porn star dancing. I'm like you weren't. You want to Google me? Oh! oh. 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 Shit! Oh, okay. 
You guys are trying to find Crawford Love. You have to eliminate one more person. Who is the second person you're eliminating right now? Three. Three. <laughs> three, you can go ahead and walk around me Thank here. You. Hello, so nice Hi, to meet you. Mercedes, nice Hi, to meet Mercedes, you. Mercedes, very nice to meet you. Before we make any real decisions here, because now it's now it's coming down to the wire, we should really get to know what a date with you would be like okay. from their perspective. So, contestants, we want to know what is your perfect date with Crawford? Uh, let's start with contestant number seven. I would have to say that my perfect date, if I had the choice, would be to, I think it's really fun to do an activity on a date, um, something like an arcade where we can play games without playing games. Ooh. Ooh. She's crafty. I like that. I mean, only if you're down to lose, though. Yeah, Crawford's really competitive. He'll like- I am very competitive. I also am very competitive, I am very competitive so I promise so. I'll keep up. All right, I'll I, won't, I, won't get, I won't go easy on you. Contestant like number that. two. Um, I would say our perfect date would be an amusement park because I really like going to like Six Flags or Knott's Berry Farm. I really like riding those big rides. You know, I really like riding. So. <laughs> Did you? you know. It's just been Whoa. two years. Though. I really like going on rides and stuff. Are we talking about roller coasters still? Or are we talking? Uh, about yeah, else? yeah, of course, of okay, course, yeah. roller coasters only. I also love roller coasters. Dating Crawford would be a roller coaster. <gasps> hey. That sounds like fun. What do you mean by that? And if it's at Six Flags, not a lot of protection. True, that is true. Oh my god. Oh god. Mom, please don't watch this video. <laughs> it's a pretty rundown amusement park at this point. <laughs> Final contestant, uh, describe your perfect date, contestant number six. Uh, for me, it would be good food, good conversation, and a lot of f***ing alcohol because I'm awkward as f***. <laughs> okay. I love All good right. food and I love alcohol. Not too much. <laughs> not too much, the right amount. The right amount, the right amount. Before we eliminate one of the contestants, I think just to maybe get the audience to be a little bit more aware of what your perfect date would be like and see who aligns. Describe your perfect date. Funny enough, all three of them said something that those are kind of like my ideal dates. I love an arcade, I love to get good food, I love to, you know, go to a theme park, experience something. Anywhere we can have a good time but also have a good conversation. Okay, well it seems like we have three good options. Those are all great, all great responses. The final three. Who's feeling like the most confident right now? I'm always anxious. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> You're killing it. You're good, dude. Yeah. I feel like mine was a little witty. I, f I like it, and amusement parks are always fun, so I feel confident in that answer. Okay, good. Well, let's find out. Audience, you now have a very tough decision on your hands. You have to eliminate one person. Please discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> Audience, have you made a decision? Yes. Yep. Who is going home? Two. 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 Contestant number two in your amusement park. You can head around that way and say goodbye to Crawford. <laughs> oh no. Hi, uh, so nice, nice to meet so you. Nice to meet you, so nice to meet you. Me too. I guess we won't be going to uh, the amusement park. So sad. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. You too. How are you feeling, dude? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty sad. He's, he's really cute, so I'm feeling pretty sad. <laughs> the good news is after this, you can still DM him. That's um, true, that's true. No, you're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> Crawford, what did you think about contestant number two? I think she had great answers, and uh, she's very beautiful. Um, all the contestants have been, so. I think, dude, it's tough. I feel so bad every time someone gets eliminated. But it's not um, your fault. I know, I still feel bad, but they've, they've all been great, so, yeah. Crawford, do you think so far the decisions have been understandable? I mean, it's tough to say. I feel I trust I trust the audience. I'm gonna trust the audience, okay? All right, well we'll find out because now it has come down to the final two. Final two. We have one question remaining. And I think this should be an all-encompassing one. We should find out if you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone how you would work together. Our final two contestants, the question for you is going to be, why would you be Crawford's perfect partner? Oh wow. Uh, let's start with contestant number six. Um, I would make the perfect partner because I feel like I'm a fun time and I'm pretty loyal to the motherfucking end. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it at that. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Contestant number seven, same question. Um, I think that I would be the perfect partner because I have had a lot of therapy and I feel like I already know a lot of things that are, you know, things that I can work on and that we could work on together and I'm very open to listening and to learning about each other. I respect that. Kind of sounds like you just want someone to pay halvesies on the therapy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with couples therapy immediately. We'll start immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Couple, right healthy. into couples therapy. <laughs> Do any of the girls that have been eliminated have a question that they think would help pick Crawford's perfect partner? What's your ideal match? He you can't see them, so I mean, why not? Why does he say it? What's your looks type? Wise? Yeah, what's your type? Oh, uh, what's your type looks wise? Listen, I do prefer a girl who's a little shorter than me. I wouldn't be against dating one that's taller than me, but I, I, I like girls who are a little shorter. Hey, just to check the heights, Crawford, can you go stand back to the uh, curtain right there, and then one lady stand back to the curtain okay. as well. We'll stand yeah, back to back. What if we're wearing heels? I'm wearing heels too. That's okay. fine. Oh, they look cute together. Can you guys grab each other's hands through the curtain? You did the interlock, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, How does it feel? How does it feel? Does it feel, hey. Hey. Does it feel good? Yeah. No, that feels good. It feels great. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and switch. Crawford, stay where you are. Contestant six, switch with contestant seven. Contestant six is like, oh, his fingers feel a little skinny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the hand. Okay, this is, this is what the Christmas photo would look like for the weirdest Christmas card ever. I see that. <laughs> Crawford. Yes. How did, how did it feel? Felt good. It's kind of a weird <laughs> situation. We're, we're, we're between some cloth and I can't really see them, but uh, <laughs> it felt good. It looked good, but it's not up to you to decide. It's not up to me to decide. The show is called Crowd Pleasers. And so it is up to our crowd. Audience, discuss amongst yourselves very quietly. I pick number seven. I live with Crawford. I'm gonna have to hang out with whoever he starts dating after this. And I fuck with number seven. Yeah. I've been Crawford's friend and hung out with him a million times more. <laughs> Number six should stay. All right, so the crowd is a little split. So I feel like we got to do it like based off a of noise. So if you want a person to be Crawford's one and only, you have to be loud, okay? And we're going to start with make a lot of noise if you see Crawford with contestant six. So it's all the guys and all the girls. Oh, wait, wait, hey, wait. So my boys. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. So all the guys are thinking contestant number six. All the guys. It's and then obviously the girls are thinking something boys. different. Okay, boys. okay. All boy. right. <laughs> now, contestant number seven, what do you think? That's, that's very interesting. I wonder why that is. Okay. All right, okay, and okay. settle. The one thing that's interesting is, do your boys often have a say in like your life, like where you go, like, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this girl. What do you think, blah blah. Um, I think they know me pretty well, like what my type is. You're also alone right now, and it could be their fault. True, true. You know what? You're right. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, I would just like to say something. The the girls that are yelling for number seven were mostly eliminated. We don't know their best intentions. <laughs> Yo. So well, the, the, people, the people that have been eliminating people are back here. But I'd like to hear from an eliminated girl, as someone who has a, an opinion on Y7. They're both fucking hot, let's be let's real. Be, yes. Let's be real, but we're not going off looks. Number seven has been to therapy. She's going to therapy. Wait, I have to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> therapy girls. And number six loves hairy, chubby men. Yeah. And we don't see that in Crawford, uh, okay, okay. let's be real. Okay. It looks like contestant number six has been eliminated. That was Round of applause for contestant number six. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, so nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Bree. Whoa. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. Right. I'm not sorry. <laughs> what do we think, dude? Was he cute? Yeah, he's cute. I mean, you guys were so married to the chubby and hairy idea, but like, I'm super open, so it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, we had you. We tried. We, we supported you. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say, God damn. Uh, and then also, I'm just kidding. We, we matched in a different video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have um, unfinished business, I guess. Okay, may, okay, maybe number seven is the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Contestant number six being eliminated means there's only one contestant left, and that is contestant number seven. So without further ado, let's let the lovebirds meet. Contestant number seven, come on over here. Stand on up. So nice to meet you. Oh, How are you? you. Oh, What's your name? Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Okay. Absolutely. I'm having a fact. I'm I know you didn't dead. really have a say, but I hope you're happy. Oh, of course, you're beautiful. Awesome. Wow. Thank you. This, this has been a cool too. experience. I'd love to get to know you better. It's kind yeah. of a, an awkward situation being through the- I guess the, we're in an arcade, the, so. Let's do it. Are you down to lose though? I, I'll give you a hard time too. I'm here for it. Absolutely. He'll give you a hard time too. Hey, hey whoa. whoa. Mom, please don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Big round of applause to our audience for making this decision. Woo! Crawford and Emma.
Congratulations, you guys are now in love. All right guys, make sure to buy your tickets here. This is the location, these are the dates. Click in the description, but uh, shout out to you guys. Hopefully it works out. I think we should end this video with a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh!